Hello Providence Church, Pastor Jacob here. I have an important update to our plan to regather for in-person worship in the building. Two weeks ago, we made the announcement of a hopeful return to worship on July 16th and 19th. Those dates have now been pushed back and we are working towards a return in August. So just to be clear, we will not be regathering for in-person worship next week as we had hoped. Instead, we'll continue online worship as we have for the last few months, and we'll be working towards the first part of August as we continue to monitor the health crisis related to coronavirus. I'd want you to know we're given regular advisement and guidance from city and state officials, the United Methodist Church, as well as conversation with other churches in our area. And as we take all that into account, all the information and how it would affect a congregation our size with a building our size, we do not feel that this is the right time to gather in the church building in such large groups. We thought we did, but recent changes and advisement we've received have led us to push that back. I know this has been a long, arduous wait. It has pained me and continues to, to not be able to meet with you. And I know it does you too, but I'm asking for your trust that your pastor and your church council, we're making our most faithful, prayerful decisions about what's best for our local church at this time. I've been trying to live by a verse from Philippians that says this, rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but to the interest of others. It says in your relationships with one another, have the same attitude as Jesus. I have seen that in you Providence Church in this season, as you've continued to serve others, to humbly look to Jesus, to be patient, to give financially to the church faithfully. I haven't thanked you for that in over a month. Your giving remains so strong and I thank you. And here's what I know. This is not the end of our story. We will get through this long 40 days. And I encourage you, I have some few encouragements. I encourage you to stay faithful in your online attendance. I'm starting a new series this Sunday about the fruit of the Spirit. We've talked so much about the Holy Spirit this summer and I think you're really gonna like this new series where we're gonna talk about what that really means God is calling us to in this time. We'll also have another drive-in worship. So many of you have enjoyed that. We'll be doing another one in July. Don't miss it, it'll be July 31st as sort of a back to school event. So more info on that, but you can go ahead and sign up if you want at prob.church slash drive-in. Also wanna ask you to do this. If you're not already, follow Providence Church on social media. Join our email list, join our text list. Our return to in-person worship may come with short notice and we want you to know about it. Your church staff has been preparing for a long time and we are ready to roll when the time comes. So make sure you're getting our communications. For today, again, thank you. Thank you for your patience. Continue to pray for the church. I believe this is crazy that we've actually become more of a church in this time, not less that this season we're in will be a part of the early history of this strong church. So I'm asking you to pray for the church. Pray for the people you go to church with. We have many people affected by the pandemic. We have many people that have had or have coronavirus themselves. We have folks who've lost loved ones to the virus, lost their jobs, who are facing financial hard times. So this is a time for us to pray for the church, to remain strong in the spirit with our eyes fixed on Jesus. I am committed to doing that with you. Take care and I'll update you soon.